and sharing items on the closet assistant. The item share is the workhorse of the closet assistant. You can use the item share just about anywhere on Poshmark. When using the item share or any other feature on the closet assistant, it's key that you're open to your Poshmark account in your browser. Trying to operate the closet assistant while on Facebook, Google, or any other web page other than Poshmark will not work. When operating the closet assistant, your setup should look like such. Poshmark is open, the closet assistant is over top. If your setup looks like this, the closet assistant will not work. If you're open to Twitter or any other page, the closet assistant will not operate. Closet assistant only has access to your Poshmark page and looks at your account. Let's set up the closet assistant for sharing. First navigate to the settings tab. On the settings tab you will select the country that your Poshmark account resides in. If you live in the United States, check the United States toggle checkbox. If you're in Canada, select the Canada checkbox. Next you will see the actions speak. Here you will set the time at which the sharer will share items. By default, the min value is 2, the max value is 5. The sharer will share at a rate between 2 and 5 seconds as it performs op functions in your closet. The sharer will never share at the same interval back to back. Next, you'll see the CAPTCHA alert alarm. Turning off this checkbox will disable the CAPTCHA alarm. If you're working around your house and would like to have an alert of when a CAPTCHA is reached, simply turn on the sound alarm checkbox. Every time a CAPTCHA is reached, the closet assistant will alert you with a bell with your, through your computer speakers. Next, you will see a notification checkbox. Leaving this checkbox enabled enables Chrome notifications. If you would like to disable the pop-up notifications, uncheck this box. Now you have the settings for the closet assistant. Let's navigate back to the Share Items tab. On the Share Items tab, you will see a see set number of items you would like to share. By default, the setting is zero. This will share all items in your closet every time. If you would like to share fewer items, simply enter the number of items you would like to share. Next, you will see check boxes. These check boxes help sort your closet or share in the order that you would like. If you would like to share your closet randomly, simply check the share randomly checkbox. If you would like to share your closet in reverse, check the reverse share checkbox. You can either select one or the other. You cannot select both at the same time. In the activity log, you'll see a notification through the closet assistant when you select different features. Next, you'll see a Share Infinity checkbox. This checkbox will share your closet continuously over and over until a CAPTCHA is reached. We do not recommend sharing your closet for long periods of time on this setting. Next, you'll see the Share to Party a checkbox. The Share to Party checkbox is used for sharing to parties. As you can see, in the active parties, there is a party currently underway. If there is not a party, you would see the word none. We'll come back to sharing to parties in the next video. To share items in your closet, you always want to make sure you're on the correct page for sharing. To share items in your closet, navigate to your closet page.
and select start. You'll see that the closet assistant has loaded 22 items in our test account and has begun sharing. When sharing to your closet or wanting to share items from your closet, you want to make sure that you're always open to your closet page underneath of the closet assistant. The checkbox selected, or excuse me, the start and stop option that is selected is used for sharing to your closet and other users' closets. Let's select stop and we'll show you how it works in another user's closet. Here, we've entered another user's closet, and you'll use the same start and stop button to share items from another user's closet. This start and stop button only works for your closet and other user's closets. It does not work on brand pages, feed pages, or party pages. I'll select stop. You can clear the activity log by clearing the log using the clear log button. One thing to note on the dashboard, you'll see your daily stats. These stats are updated daily for your shares, follows, and likes of your activity on the closet assistant. I'll navigate back to my closet. You can use filters to also share in your closet. For example, there's a couple items of, say, Nike in, in your closet, and you only want to share just Nike. I'll select the Nike under the filter of brands in the closet. You'll see we have two Nike items in our closet. I'll come to the closet assistant, share, and click start. You'll see that only those two items are going to share from our closet. After the process is completed, the share will stop. One thing to note when using filters, always make sure you clear those filters before sharing or if you would like to share your closet items. You can also share just categories or from markets. You'll see you can, if you have a closet that has men and women's items in it, you can filter to share just women's items or men's items. After you're done, make sure you always check your filters before sharing again if you would like to share your whole closet. Sometimes we can get forgetful and leave those filters on, and you might wonder why all the items in your closet are not displayed or not sharing. I'll select stop. Again, the start button that's highlighted right now is used for your closet and other users' closets and for when you want to share items from your closet to parties. That's the only time that you'll use that start button of the item share. It's called the item share button. The feed share works on brand pages, Category pages, the feed page, and sharing items from other users on party pages.
Let's check out how it, how it works. You'll see the feature of sharing from the Lululemon brand page. It will continually load items on that page and share until you select stop. There are thousands and thousands of items on that page. It will continue to share until it runs into a CAPTCHA. We've updated the software, the Closet Assistant, that it will load the page continuously. I'll select stop. One thing to note that we recommend as a tip from us is that the brand pages, if you note, we put this in some of our blogs as well. The brand pages are listed in the popularity and sales on Poshmark. As you can see, the number one popular item on Poshmark is the Lululemon, followed by Free People, and so on. Under the women's market, you can select all markets here. Under under men's, you'll see Nike is the top brand, followed by Gucci, and so on. We recommend sharing a couple of these brands of other users every day that will produce great results in your closet with follows and shares. The feed share will also share from the feed page, which is known as the home page of your Poshmark account. You're on your home page, select start. As you're sharing and following users throughout the closet assistant is crucial that you're on the proper page for the proper operation. If you're on the wrong page, attempting to use the wrong feature, the closet assistant will not work. As you can see, the closet assistant is sharing from the feed page via the feed sharing sharer. I'll select stop. Since there's a party in, in progress, the feature also works on party pages. We'll enter the party. And start the feed sharing process. As you can see, the closet assistant is now sharing other users' items from that party. If you use the item share button above the feed share button to share items in a party, it will not work. We'll select stop. Again, the feed share works on brand pages, party pages, pretty much every page on Poshmark other than your closet and another user's closet page. That's all the places the feed share will, will uh, operate on. Next up on the share items tab is the edit post sharing. If you've had items in your closet that have sat for some time collecting a little dust, we recommend do it using the edit share. The edit share will update a listing, refreshing it, just like it was just listed as of the moment that you use the edit share button. Navigate to your closet. Always check that you're on all markets. There's no toggles or filter selected. 
if you had a filter selected, you would see a, a brand or a category listed there. We'll clear the filter. We're on all markets. I'll open the closet assistant. Share items tab. Edit post sharing. The closet assistant will open every listing individually. It will edit share it just like there was a change in that listing and simulate that it was a new listing to Poshmark. If you have social media connected to your Poshmark account, you can toggle those off to disable the notifications. Sometimes that will slow the operation down if you're currently logged into one of your social media accounts. As you can see, the closet assistant is edit sharing listings from our closet. If you need further assistance in getting started, do not hesitate to email us at closet, info at closetassistantpm.com or message us through our Instagram page. In the next video, we'll talk about how to share to a party. Thanks for watching.